TypeScript has a cool feature relating to types that's called implicit typing. Here's how it works. Now I have three variable declarations over here, right? Let me get rid of the functions. We don't need this now. We have three variable declarations, A, B, and C, with the types number, boolean, and string. And they have been assigned these values. Let's say I get rid of these um, variable declarations, the type declarations rather, and I'm just gonna make this uh, be the assignments right here. So A gets the value of 10, B gets the value of true, and um, C gets the value of just the string, hello. So I've replaced the previous code, which contained type information with this code, which does not contain type information, but it just has the assignments, all right? Now, what if I assign a Boolean to A over here, line five? What if I assign it as a Boolean? Earlier, when A was declared as a number, it wouldn't have worked because A is a number, TypeScript knows that A is a number, and now we are assigning true to A, it's not gonna work, TypeScript is gonna complain but we have gotten rid of this. We have gotten rid of the declaration that A is a number. Now what happens when I assign true to this? Well, guess what? TypeScript still complains. And look what it's doing. It's saying the value, let's actually compile this, to show you the error message. Uh, see, it says that the value, the type true is not assignable to the type number. How is that possible? Where have we declared this var a equals number. We haven't done this. Turns out TypeScript is doing what's called implicit typing. It's actually looked at line one where you've assigned the number 10 to a and it says, okay, I got it. A needs to be a number because it looks like you're assigning a number to it. So it marks internally that a is a number. You don't have to declare it, right? You don't have to say a equal number. As long as you're assigning a value, TypeScript implicitly knows that the type of this variable is a number. Similarly, B, if you hover your mouse over it, notice that it says Boolean. C, can you guess what it says? A string, because the assignment itself gives TypeScript a clue about what the type is, and TypeScript holds on to it. TypeScript says, okay, now you've committed to these variables being these data types, number, Boolean, and string. So every time it, you have it be anything else, it's gonna complain automatically, right? So this is out of the box behavior. Uh, it happens the same way if I assign a number to B or something else to C, right? It works. This is called implicit typing, and this applies in a lot of different places. So let's say you have a function called greet, which returns a string, you've declared it, and then what you're gonna do is return Good morning, right? It's a function called greet. It returns a string that you have declared as a return type, doesn't accept any arguments. Now let's say I have a var greeting equals greet. Now notice that greeting is a variable that has been implicitly assigned a string because the function declares that it's returning a string. All right, so this is implicit typing. TypeScript actually goes a step further when the function makes it very obvious what the return type is. And here you see it's actually returning an inline string. So it's fairly obvious what the return type is. It works even if you don't have the return type declaration on the function, right? Even if you do this, move your mouse over the variable and you can see that it is a string. This will not work when the assignment is in a different line from the declaration. Now let's say I do this get rid of this, var greeting, the separate line for the declaration, and say greeting equals greet. All right, now let's look at what happens to greeting. It has a weird name called any, it's not a string anymore, right? So now I can say greeting equals 10 and it's gonna work fine. TypeScript is not gonna complain, all right? So this implicit typing works only when the assignment is in the same line as the declaration. You have to have var variable name equals something 
and the type of that something is going to be the type of the variable. That's the only time when implicit typing works for variables. It doesn't work if it's the assignment is in a completely different line. It works the same way for these kind of variable declarations as well. Let's say I have a var a, and then somewhere over here I say a equals 10. Well, a is not a number anymore. A is, again, the any type, right? So now let's look at what the any type is in the next video. But uh, hopefully this concept of implicit typing makes sense. It's TypeScript kind of helping you out when uh, the value is being assigned at the same time when the variable is being declared.